Lining up extractors has always been a pain. You always end up with the haphazard, disorganized mess. Well, I'm here today to give you a beautiful modular design that you can use in your factory today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Longhouse. I'm Runestone Gaming. In today's episode, we're going to definitely be talking about those silly extractors. Now, every time I've played since I've started playing, and that's the many, many hours now, I've always tried to find a design to support the water extractors. I've spent several hours considering many different builds, everything from just lining them up side by side to just putting them out however I want and just nothing seemed to work just right. Well, with the inclusion of the Mark II pipe, I decided that I should put together a final build highlighting things that you can do in your own factory. Well, let's get to it. This build requires that you've completed Tier 5, Alternative Fluid Transport, and Tier 6, Milestone Pipeline Engineering. You will also need a little bit of plastic and copper to get started as well. Don't forget, 10 extractors and 2 industrial fluid buffers. To begin, you'll need raised surface right above the water. Use a mixture of 1 meter and 4 meter foundations to get your foundation right at the top of the water. Make a 17 by 14 area using 4 meter foundation. We'll just need the border here. One tile from the outside, make a 15 by 3 quarter pipe pool on both sides. In the middle, make a 15 by 2 pool using the same method. Now drop your pipeline crosses into the quarter pipes in the middle. You'll notice that sometimes you can't place the pipeline crosses side by side, and so you'll have to spin it. Spin it to win it. Now, place the extractors. This is a little tricky. You're gonna stare at the extractors from where you laid the cross, and you're gonna place the extractor right where the cross is pointing. Now this is arguably the hardest part of this build. When you're placing these extractors, you really want to pull them as close to you as possible. You can do this by reaching out with your mouse at first with the extractor landing in the water and then using your arrow keys on your keyboard to inch you as close to the edge as possible. Place your glass foundation down, making sure the bar is placed parallel to the quarter pipe so you do not see it.
Now for the buffers. Make a two by four platform on either side of what we've created. Place two industrial buffers with the entrance facing the extractors. Use gate walls on the side with the extractors. Put glass all around the structure on the other side. For the roof, we'll use down corner ramps, making sure to rotate the tile so that the diagonal matches the buffer. It should look like it's kind of inset a little bit. You'll then want to place a pipeline wall hole. Uh, this will make it so you can easily bring those pipes from the half pipe that we've created into the industrial buffers. Now to create the pipes coming through the floor, we're gonna remove some floors, and we've done this in a previous video. You're gonna put one meter foundation all the way up to the top, right before you get to the top. Then you'll lay that pipeline support right next to the wall. Connect your pipes. You'll drag a pipe from the main pipes that you've laid out in the half pipe trench. You'll hear it click to the bottom of the pipe support. Then you can bring the pipe support to the gate wall pipe holes. Make sure to use Mark II pipe between the crosses Make a U-bend at the end for a single system. Connect the extractors to the cross using vertical from the cross to the extractor. The final step is power. Place a four meter foundation to one side in the middle between the extractors. Place a fence on top and another fence on top of that. Remove the other fences and foundation. Now drag power from the extractor to the fence that you've placed in the middle. Continue this down the line. Make sure the power line is straight from the extractor. Connect the wall outlets together. After you've connected the wall outlets, you can drag these wall outlets to the industrial buffer building where you will connect it to the rest of your factory. Place fences around the edges of the structure so no one falls in and add ladders if you want to to your buffer building. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope that you guys can use this build in your own build. Please, if you do use this build, head on over to the Discord, which will be down below. Link the build screenshot in there, and maybe I can feature you here on my channel. I wanna give a huge shout out to my patrons. That will also be all down below. Thank you guys for all your support. And remember, catch me live on Twitch where you will see this and many other builds. Well, thank you guys so much for viewing, and I'll see you next time right here in the Longhouse.